Wilhelm, a Kaiser, a Cyborg, a Scream, and now a man. My name is Stally111 and today I will be looking into Wilhelm and what abilities he has as a playable character in Borderlands the pre-sequel. His first appearance is made in Borderlands 2 as half Hyperion Engineer, half Loader in the End of the Line story mission. Wilhelm wasn't always half man, half machine however. In the events of Borderlands the pre-sequel, we'll see the character as he was, when he was all man. The game will see the events that turned him into the cyborg we all know and love today. In case you were wondering and hadn't had a wise guess at what role he played in the group of promising wastelanders, or in this case, moonlanders if that's even a thing, he would portray the role of the assault class, like Roland or Axton. Wilhelm's ability, similar to Roland and Axton, is being in possession of a deployable attack drone, as well as skills that boost damage and survivability, etc, etc, etc. Upgrading Wilhelm's cyborg augmentation skills from the Cyber Commando skill tree will, over time, add robotic parts to his body, as well as giving him a more robotic voice, possibly leading up to his final form in Borderlands 2. Wilhelm's action skill is called Wolf and Saint. This lets you summon two drones that will assist you while you trek through the enemy infested moon of Pandora. The reason it is called Wolf and Saint is due to the fact they are two different things. The wolf will be a hunter, similar to an actual wolf, going after your prey and possibly assisting you in battle, while the saint is more a loyal defender staying by your side who can also give you some additional healing if needed. We can see the skill in action during the boss fight with him in the second title of the franchise, Borderlands 2. As per usual with Borderlands characters, Wilhelm has three skill trees, Hunter Killer, Cyborg Commando and Dreadnought. The Hunter Killer skill tree may be easy to tell what sort of skills are within it, damage, and increased ability of the drone whether it be increased damage of it or replacements. This is the offensive line to go down for the wolf. The finale skill of this tree is a Mega Strike which gives Wolf the ability to periodically launch a deadly missile strike against its targets, which again would extremely help your offence. The Cyber Commando tree is more orientated around Wilhelm himself and his damage or crit chance, but as it says in the name, it involves cybernetics. This is the tree that holds the skills to put your cybernetics to use. The finale skill of this tree is Vengeance Cannon. This is an epic shoulder mounted cannon that is created every time your shield is depleted. The cannon fires incendiary laser blasts at your opponents and corresponds to where you're firing with your own equipment. The Dreadnought tree concentrates on health, healing, elemental and your saint drone. The final skill point of this tree is overcharge. After summoning your saint drone, it will release a massive energy wave which will overcharge you and any nearby allies for a short duration. Overcharged players will gain some sweet buffs like 15% increased movement speed, 75% faster reloads and fire rate and ammo regeneration of 10 per second. Sadly this lasts for a maximum of 10 seconds but will most certainly give you a major boost against bosses. Thanks for joining me on this brief recap of Wilhelm and a little insight into what his powers are going to be like in the game. Please tell me what you want me to do next, possibly a deeper dig into Wilhelm's backstory or anything else just tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe if you've not done so already. My name is Stalin111, see you guys on the next one.